Hello friends and family. Thank you all for joining us as you partake in this Earth Day event. This event is very dear to our hearts and we are very grateful that your love for the Earth has brought you here to do something kind for this beautiful gift that we've received, this magnificent Earth that we call home. Yes, Earth Day was created in 1970 to bring awareness to the many environmental issues that plague our Earth and give us a chance to make a difference in the health of our home. Earth Day is celebrated around the world, giving all the occupants of this planet an opportunity to improve the world we live in. So today, we are going to start by making a change in our own community by beautifying our local park. The plan here today is to plant some flowers and trees. We would also like to have some volunteers help clean up the fields of any waste they might find. After we are all done, we will have some light refreshments. Please get into your groups and let's begin Earth Daying. Mom, that's not a thing. Oh yeah, snacks. I can't wait for that part. I'm just ready to play in the dirt. They're allowing me to get dirty. I'm gonna cherish every moment of this. Yup, this is gonna be so much fun. Digging all those holes. Where's my shovel? I'm ready to begin. It's right here, Spike. Let's go over there and start. I can't wait to see all the pretty flowers. Ugh, oh, I don't understand why I have to be here. I'm so not interested in getting a speck of dirt on me. Gianna, you know how important this is to our mothers. Plus, it's really important work. Yeah, this is the only home we have. We need to take care of it. I get all that, but what is this little bit we're doing here really gonna help? Trust me, every little thing we do will help sustain the health of the earth. Actually, Gianna, one tree alone can absorb 48 pounds of carbon dioxide in one year. So us planting these 20 trees will have a huge impact on reducing carbon emissions. Thanks, Tiziano, you brainiac. Like, why would you even know that in the first place? <laughs> I learned that in my biology class. Plus, Gianna, there are many things we can do on an everyday basis to help improve the Earth. Like what? One easy way to help the earth is to use reusable bags as opposed to plastic bags. The toxic chemicals from plastic bags can seep into our water supply and contaminate it. And they can be harmful to marine animals when they get into our oceans. Also, using reusable water bottles can help reduce plastic waste in our landfills and oceans. Another way to help the earth out is use less water. Please, Teziano, I think that's your personal request so you can get in the shower faster. You're partly right, since you do take forever in the shower. But the impact of using less water reduces the amount of energy used to pump water. I don't know how that would work with all this hair of mine, but I guess I could try. You would be surprised by how many gallons of water are saved by turning off the faucet for a few minutes. So I know we just got our license, but driving less and using more natural forms of transportation, like walking and riding a bike, have extreme benefits on reducing carbon emissions. Oh well, Lucky, that's not even going to be hard, as I don't even have a car yet. See? You're already equipped to help improve the earth. I think I'm going to tell mom and dad to hold off on getting you a car, so you can continue to help the environment. Tiziano, you better not. <laughs> oh, Gianna, I've got a great way for you to help the Earth and improve your wardrobe. Hmm, okay. Tell me more, Diamond. You can line dry your clothes. A tumble dryer uses the most energy out of all household appliances. The benefit is your clothes will last longer. Now, that could be a lot of work, but the benefits could be worth it. Thanks for the tidbit, Diamond. Another thing you can do, Gianna, is grow a garden with your mother. You can start with herbs so you can use them in your cooking. That's a good idea. I do love to cook. And it's not too dirty of an activity. If anything, you can have Kaysen help with the dirt. He'll be all for it. All right, okay, so I'm convinced there is a lot I can actually do to help improve the earth. Yeah, and when in doubt, just remember the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Actually, lucky it's now the five R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, rot, and refuse. 
oh, I didn't realize there were two more R's added. So I get reduce, reuse, and recycle, but like, how am I supposed to use rot and refuse? Well, rot is for composting, which is having organic waste biodegrading as opposed to filling our landfills. Pause. Wondering what the word biodegrade means? It's the process of having things break down and become a part of the environment. Resume. And I think the refuse element comes from not accepting plastic bags at stores. Is that right, Tez? You sure are, Diamond. You're such a smart cookie. Thanks, Tez. Just remember, Gianna, the earth is our gift from God, and we must honor his gift by taking care of our home. Yeah, that does make sense. There is only one earth, and we want to keep it beautiful, just like me. <sighs> That's something you would say. <laughs> Gianna, you're so silly. Sure, if that makes you take care of the earth. Exactly. is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Psalms 24 verse 1 and 2. The heavens are yours and the earth is yours. Everything in the world is yours. You created it all. Psalms 89 verse 11. The heavens belong to the Lord but he has given the earth to all humanity. Psalms 115 verse 16.